Coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Oh, f well, I came for the wrong one. Nice. That went pretty well, actually, to be honest. Greetings, friends, and welcome to a very special midweek episode of Ian's VR Corner. Now, why am I doing this midweek when normally Ian's VR Corner is on a Sunday? Well, today is a very special day because it is the lifting of the review embargo for Stormland, the brand new VR exclusive adventure game from Insomniac Games, which I have been enjoying a lot. Now, the story mode for Stormland only lasts about five hours, so I thought, rather than spoil that for you, I would show off what happens after the game when something called Cycling World gameplay um, opens. Now, Cycling World gameplay isn't where you get on a bike and cycle around some futuristic locations. No, Cycling World is this. This is where the world changes on the calendar at the same time for everyone. Each cycle offers unique locations, discoverables and conditions and reaching the terminus is the ultimate goal. The terminus rests on the third cloud level of this game. As you'll see, I won't reach the terminus in this playthrough, um, but I do have five days to do so if I want. The reason why I thought I'd show off this rather than the start of the game is the start of the game starts off very slowly and it doesn't give you a very good idea of how cool the traversal mechanics in this game are. This game makes you feel like you're flying and it does so without giving you any like nausea at all or at least not me because uh, the way they've done everything is very clever. First up let's take a look at my character. Uh, my character or our character is Vesper a robot um, in the Rift S, which is what I'm playing this on right now. The graphics look wonderful. I'm playing this on ultra setting graphics, but I believe my computer is a little bit below the minimum specs. Either way, um, it looks fantastic because the game is called Stormland. The distance is often very foggy and a little bit, you know, blurry and smoky, but I presume that's part of the overall aesthetic of the game. But yeah, everything looks really nice and clear and crisp when you get up close to it. Um, but yeah, let's journey into the world and see what there is to do. So this area is your main base in the uh, campaign of Stormland. This is where you'll start at the beginning of each cycle once the worlds reset themselves. Now this is where you want to come if you want to upgrade your Vespa unit. You can unlock new skills and slots with growth and you can earn growth by either scanning objects in your visor mode or by beating the terminus which is the main aim for the cycling world missions. Once you have the growth and Aeon buds you can use those to pick slots on your Vespa unit and uh, buy yourself different types of power-ups. Headshot overload. Killing enemies by hitting their weak point will overheat nearby enemies. Let's purchase that and apply. So that has now been applied to an upgrade slot on my Vespa unit. Leave me with not enough points to do any more upgrades. But yeah, you'll, uh, you'll upgrade your Vespa unit slowly over time in the campaign and in the Cycling World gameplay as well. Now there's not much else to see here um, apart from you doing okay? This desk here, which will allow me to uh, manufacture various different versions of weapons. This is a sniper rifle. I'm going to do the Hurricane minigun, though. And I'm going to fabricate one of those. And now I have this awesome minigun, which I can... Fire like that. I've got two guns already selected, but I should have a back slot as well, which I unlocked. So I'm holding three weapons at the moment. So yeah, Stormland is set on three levels um, in the clouds. So it's three different stratospheres almost, um, or realms, and they've all been reset. Each time you beat the terminus, they will be reset again, and the world will become more difficult. I'm on the beginning. Uh, the easiest part because I didn't manage to reach the terminus in the first cycle So I'm gonna go and head to the Cycad region and kick off some open-world gameplay. Let's go 
This transport is about to rocket me up into space. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Up into space we go. See you later, home base. Whee! Welcome to the Cycad region. Pretty, Search right? The Cycad region. Salvage weapons and materials, and when you're ready, activate the storm portal to travel to Cloudreach. So these regions have loads of different floating islands, and they are separated by seas of clouds, which we will be able to ride. I'll show you those in a second. You may have noticed I'm playing sat down. You can play this stood up if you want, but playing sat down is um, perfectly comfortable and the um, traversal stuff is not affected by me sat down at all. Uh, Spirit Cipher. I think I'm onto something big and I could use your help. Meet me at the bunker when you get a chance. Thanks, Cipher. Everyone's interrupting me today. So by looking at my palm, I can check out my objectives. There are three at the moment. I need to... Um, uh, find the spire and free the spire cell in the Cycad region. I need to defeat 30 Tempest in order to disable the security lock on the storm Hi, Vesper. portal. I'm making what some mods to the breach cannon blast radius, hoping to help you take down more troopers in a single shot. I just need some field test data for tuning. Can you take out a few Tempest scouts with grenades for me? I also need to take out some Tempest scouts with the breach cannon. And... I need to meet up with Cypher by the Stormforge Vault. All these missions are randomly generated each time the world cycles, so you've always got different things to do. Bringing up my map here, which is showing the Cycad region uh, from above. I am here. It shows exactly where I've been on these uh, by glowing up green. Let's head over to this mission there, which may be the Stormforge Forge Vault. I don't know. I could head wherever I want, of course, but I'm going to head over here and see what's going on over there. Yes, I am indeed. Right, close that. So you can just about see that orange light over there in the distance. That is my waypoint that I've set. It's very easy moving around on the clouds. All you do is step onto the clouds and you instantly start zipping along. Now, if you hold down the grip buttons, you start moving at quite a pace. And because you have your arms out, kind of Superman style, it seems to negate any kind of feeling, like any kind of motion sickness you might have. Hitting these, oh, hitting those booster things will hurt you, but if you skim on the outside, it gives you an extra boost, which really zooms you along and gives you the um, this amazing feeling of gliding and flying around the game world. I cannot see my waypoint is it around here already have i reached it already i think it's just around here on this island there it is this big wall of clouds i went up on a ramp and that's kind of let me glide down so let's head down here to this first area and see what there is to discover bonk oh so this is our mate cypher hello I found another stormforge vault it's definitely worth trying to crack the Tempest lock on it. Okay. The Tempest left the reset com for the vault keys wide open. Look how pretty. I send a request on the right frequency and... Reflect the eye. Watch the sky. Oh. Okay, so... Tempest vaults need three keys to unlock. Jammed the screamer's tracking signal, so the Tempest shouldn't find them right away. Time to get those screamers. Preferably before the Tempest do. Now the screamers will show up on my map as these red blobs. And in one of these screamers, which are kind of like, I don't know, just communication things for the Tempest or the baddies, in, in three of these will be the keys for this vault. So during my open world adventures on this part of the game, on this region, I need to explore these and find the three keys that go on here if I want to go inside the vault for Cypher's mission. There is a screamer that has landed around here somewhere. And there's also a bunch of baddies to fight, finally. So I kind of liken this game uh, to Far Cry, in a way. Games like Far Cry, where you have open world options for tackling enemies. You can basically fight enemies in any way you want. Now, I could stealth up to those enemies if I want, but this time, I'm going to give them a bit of shock and awe by blowing up 
by not blowing up that fucking <laughs> thing. There we go. I blew it up that time. I don't know why my bullets weren't reaching then. So all the enemies at the moment are pretty, um, pretty weak. They're all level one, but the more you play this, the more times you complete the terminus, the more, the the harder and the stronger the enemies will be. Each enemy drops different kinds of weapons. When you run out of the ammo for a weapon, you can't reuse it, um, but you can dismantle it for parts, which will allow you to buy new upgrades. I'm going to go and grab this gun from the floor here, a shotgun, and I'm going to attach it to my hip. And I'm also going to use my hand cannon here just to blow up these boxes and again collect some currency. Got some things flying in now. Weather's getting a little bit crappy. Okay, so I don't know where this shocker thing is, or the screamer is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find it by getting up high and looking down. Now, climbing in this game is really good. Uh, the way it's done is with these gravity pads on your hands. And instead of having to actually grab hold of surfaces, which can get a bit fiddly, what you can do is you can be quite a way away and grab like so. So it makes climbing a lot easier than having to actually reach in and grab specific points. You can pretty much grab hold of anything from a distance. But the best way to climb is easily to fling yourself upwards like this and then grab and fling and grab and fling. And again, by physically powering your movement, it really cuts down on any kind of motion sickness. But here I am, made it to the top of this section. I don't see the screamer around here. So let's get a little bit higher up. Whee! And have a look off the edge. This is a very big structure, so I might not be able to see the screamer from up here. So I'll have a little, I'll jump off and have a little glide down. Let's do a bit of a scan. So everything that's highlighted in white are things that I've already scanned. So I won't earn any growth points for scanning those things. But they're all collectibles that I can use. Oh, okay. So the screamer is actually inside that structure. So let's try and make my way inside. There's glass all around the bottom, but we can climb up and, and drop in if I need. Come on, up we go. Yeah, nice and quick. Whee! And I should be able to drop in now to where that screamer was, which is just below me. I can speed up my descent by pointing my hands down. Oh, okay, I'm being attacked by some temper, so let's get my shotgun out. I've also got on this hand a shield, which I can use. Come here, mate. Boom. No match for me. Oh, we've got more enemies dropping in. These are just drones at the moment. Oh, fuck, that's out of ammo. Let's get rid of that and go to my trusty minigun. Ah. Boom. Okay, so I'm also... Killing these is also... Helping me with my objective to uh, defeat 30 Tempest. I've defeated 11 so far. So here's this screamer thing. I need to find the handle and pull the door off. Ah, this one is a scanner. The Tempest use them as a failsafe to find the missing keys in case they get shot down. Just push the direction on the map you want to scan. So it's a good idea to find a screamer that is in a long line because you can only scan in four okay, directions. Good. Now press the scan button to send a pulse. Uh, it only has juice for one pulse, so choose wisely. So maybe if I'd have gone to this one first, I could have scanned two at once or even three at once. But so I'm going to have to scan one. So that I'm going to scan didn't this pick one. Up any keys. 
At least you know. Better keep moving. So there's no keys on any of these ones. So what I might do is I might head north and try and find the key on that one. Um, so let's bring my map up. And I am currently here. And I want to go and search for a screamer here. So let's get rid of that waypoint. Put that waypoint there. And then head out of here. Ooh, I'm going to collect this. This is a health... Oh, stop it. This is a health pod. So that's giving me some more health. There's a few things like these collectibles here. These will either give you health. These plants will either give you health or shield. Oh, shit. Is this the only gun I've got? So this is going to give you a good idea of one of the ways I like to approach combat. I like to grab hold of walls, pop out, duck back in, pop out. And then you can really easily pop in and out of cover like this. Wait, whoop, I just threw myself out of cover. It's smoky out there now. The weather's really got crappy. So now I can pick up their weapons and put them on my hips. So I can take them into battle next. That's another grenade. So I've got two grenade slots on the front. So now I hit to, need to head to my next waypoint, which is over here. So again, onto the clouds. Rocket man position. And on the clouds and boost. And we get to fly. Now, my waypoint is on the top of that mountain. And that screamer could be anywhere on this mountain at all. But the good thing is, I can, I can choose whatever way I want to get around here. Once I've collected some schnapples, of course. Schnapple, schnapple. So I think I'm going to climb right up here, because again, you can climb up pretty much any surface in the game. So I'm just going to rocket my way up here, and I can see that there are some enemies up here, thanks to my scanner. There's quite a few. There's, oh yeah, there's like five or six. So I'm going to very slowly come up here. And I'm going to hang just, ooh, just below this ledge. Now, if I wanted, I could do this stealthy AF and sneak through that tall grass there. I think I'm just going to go in all guns blazing. Oh, and I'm going to shoot that. That'll help. Sometimes it does, anyway. Sometimes it helps. It'll explode the, um, the tempest that has stood on it. Everyone's a little bit cranky with me now. So green means they haven't spotted me yet. Well, they will do in a second. And we start attacking them. And then I've got an upgrade which shows me where their weak points is, which in this case is their head. So they know something's up because their mates died, but they, they ain't seen me, right? Maybe I could throw a grenade in there. Bad throw. Let's try another grenade. Oh, worst, even a worse throw. Fuck it, let's just go in with guns blazing. I'll take him out, don't you worry. Oh, I should have blown up the, um, the thing it was stood on. Uh-oh, out of ammo there. So, back to the trusty minigun, which is not aiming. Oh, fuck, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Am I? No. Come on, dickhead. There we go. Tough guy, eh? Not on my watch. There's some sentry guns up here, which I don't want to get shot by, so let's get it in its weak point. Nice. And here, 
is the First screamer. We need to tear off the front panel. Boss. We'll see if we found the scanner. Great. Ooh, found I found a key. Nice. Just grab it and store it in good work. There are two more out there. Okay, so because a key was in there, I can't um, scan it anymore. So I need to go onto my map and I need to pick a new location. Again, I am here now. Where's a good one to go that will scan a load at the same time? This one here. So let's take my waypoint, mark it there, and then we're going to rock it all the way along to here, explore these islands, find the screamer, and then if there's no key, scan all the way down there. And everything's gone very smoky and cloudy at the moment. It washes out the graphics quite a bit in the clouds. But it looks kind of cool. I guess maybe it's a nice way of sorting out the draw distance so the frame rate can keep up when you're moving at incredible rates. It doesn't take too long to get across the clouds, especially when you're hitting those boosts. Here we go, we're in the iron, so somewhere there is a screamer. There's already a bad guy up here. Let's quietly climb up. Let's see if I can stealth attack this one. It's probably not going to be possible because I don't have anywhere to hide. But if I can Ooh. if I can come up behind it. Should be able to schnaffle its power pack. Oh, fuck! No, too late. It's got a little power pack on the back. And if I had have schnaffled that, it would have turned him off. But it doesn't matter. Threw a grenade at his face, so that'll do. There's another one down there, and there's something I haven't scanned down there, so that's going to give me some growth points. So I've grabbed all these schnaffles. Okay, so that one knows something is up. Scanning this plant. I'm glad to see you've taken an interest in the plant. I just mushroom. When we landed on Avalon, I was so surprised by how different the plant life here is from Earth's. There's a bunch of them. Is this one going to see me when it walks past? Ooh, maybe. Got his, got his power pack. They see it snuck up behind him. Stealth his health right off his back. And that allowed me to insta-kill him. Oh, fuck, there's no ammo. <laughs> you gone. Let's turn this scanner off for a second so I know what's going on. There we go, right in the face. Easy. And that is some extra schnaffles. Oh, fuck. Accidents. <laughs> Whoopsie. Alright, so we need to find this screamer anyway. So let's head up high again. Excellent height on my fling jumps now. Shit. Oh, fuck, okay. So yeah, these enemies are the easiest enemies at the moment. But they're, um... Their strength will increase the more you play the game. Take that, Tempest Douche. Don't see that screamer anywhere yet. Can't hear it either. Look at it, it's lovely bubbly floor. Oh, oh there's a sniper there. Might try and might try and stealth up to it. No, oh, no, it's it's seen me. The cool is there's some cool mech designs in this. There really is. Let's try over here. I think this is part of the same island. Because I can't find the screamer up on the rocks. But having this kind of cool glide function means I can really keep an eye out and see what is what. Speed up my descent and land. 
Okay, let's have a quick look at my map. So I'm currently here now. My waypoint is actually behind me, but it doesn't matter because there should be another screamer around here somewhere. They're always hidden in different places, and these rock formations are always placed in... Oh no, it's a Goliath! Okay, let's try and snipe this guy in his weak point. Good hit. It's angry. Oh, excellent. Wow. The Goliaths are normally pretty tough, but I did some excellent aiming there. Up yours, dickhead. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, fuck. Okay, running out of ammo in those guns. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There's the screamer. Let's take the health. Let's take the minigun. Eat it! Whoa! Where'd you come from? Melee douche. Can I go on my back? Oh no, I've got one of them on my back. Okay. Here's the screamer. Let's pull this off. Scanner. You can use this to narrow down the key Okay, yeah, I missed that one there. Doesn't matter. We'll scan this way and have a look. In that direction. No keys here. Now I reckon I've found enough screamers now to demonstrate that type of gameplay. So I'm going to head over here now and I'm going to climb up this mountain to uh, find the spire cell from the top of here. Now before I do that I just want to show you that they, you can also play this in co-op with friends. There's a multiplayer menu here which you unlock through the course of the single player campaign. So you can play this multiplayer in cop if you want to mission around these open worlds with a friend as well which should be quite good fun but i'm not going to do that today because i got no friends so we're going to head to my waypoint which is this direction here i'm freaking superman now oh ball bags now if you were playing this stood up or in room scale you could turn physically but i'm using the right thick stick to turn and it works Fine. I hit a jump there. I hit a cloud ramp and now I'm freaking flying. Ow. Tits. Okay. Very, very clumsily crashed into that boost thing there. So what I think I'm going to do before I attempt climbing in the spire is make some new weapons. So let's bring up the menu. Uh... I do SMG. I'm gonna fabricate a level two SMG. I'm just getting you access to better weapons. You can also carry more of that type of ammo. By the time you get a few schematics for one type of weapon, it can make a pretty big difference. Looks so like I've got level three schematics for an SMG as well. Have I got level four? I do. Oh, I don't have enough cash. Uh, you can also buy different arms for your. Dro uh, your droid as well, and invisibility armor would help with stealth, I reckon. Do I have enough to fabricate it? I do. Okay, grab my left arm, pull, and place. And then, new arm, attached. I've got an invisibility arm now, I don't know how I activate that. Ah, so by holding, holding the grip and the trigger button, I turn invisible. Now, to get up this gigantic spire again, just like Far Cry and other open world adventure games like that, each structure, each stronghold, or in this case, each island, can be uh, can be tackled in any way you want. Oops. And I'm gonna go up this way. See what I can see from the edge first scout out a little bit okay so there is an enemy there There's, i can see two enemies at the moment this is why i regret not building a sniper rifle that's fine ok 
Okay. So it, it, they are aware I am here. I'll put my gun down so I can use both hands and be a little bit more exact with my climbing. So right under. Pull my gun out. Oh, he's he's actually behind some cover. A dickhead. This guy isn't no. Nice. Owned. That drone maybe could be hit. Yeah, oh there's a freaking Goliath there as well. So I can't get that guy in red. So I'll flank along a little bit. Grab my gun from my hip. And exposed. Shoot him while he's exposed. Lovely stuff. That Goliath is still hanging around. But it doesn't know where I am yet. Let's just get rid of that. Get myself a new gun with some fresh ammo. So I'm going to go invisible. I'm going to see how this helps. They don't. They haven't seen me. They don't know I'm here. I'm going to try and pull the... Ah, oh, you fuck up. Come here. Okay. So I pulled his health back out. Got some new health. Killed that drone. That Goliath is still none the wiser, but these two up here are a little bit aggressive. My shield's quite low. Oh. You might see me. Let's go invisible. Ah, so the invisibility drains your shields. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's good to know. Slightly a bit too late, but never mind. Okay, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Oh, shit. Well, I came for the wrong one. Nice. That went pretty well, actually, to be honest. Let's get rid of that and get some fresh ammo. I've uh, got a grenade there. Where was the Goliath? There it is. So my health, my shield's super low. Oh fuck, I've been spotted. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no! Schnaffles. So that thing's set up a like a force field now. Which I need to get behind if I'm going to have any chance of killing it. So let's get right behind him. I don't know if it knows I'm here, does it? Who knows, but let's shoot it in its weak points, which is its sexy child-bearing hips. Oh, shit. My, my, my. Ow, 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 ow. Can it trigger? I'm not very good at throwing grenades in VR. Got ya. Sit down, dickhead. Sit down. Okay, minigun sorted. Is, that one, is it trapped inside the structure, that one? I think it might be. There's still a few bugs with this game. Because uh, I guess it's a pre-release build. But generally everything works pretty well. Aside from a few things spawning inside buildings and whatnot. Okay, so we've taken a lift up. So we're on another section here. These walls, these purple walls, you actually cannot grapple up. Oh, here's a blue thing to scan. Oh, fuck. Oh, piss over shot. <laughs> Wee -hee -hee. Okay, come on, you. This is an upgraded loot chest. Come on. And. Ah, 
got an Aeon container, so that'll help me purchase upgrades. Thank you. Okay, we'll have a little peek over. I see one bad guy there. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I think that's about it. So let's fling myself up and maybe we can even avoid that one if possible. You do not have to fight things. Oh, there's a sniper over there. My armor, my shield is ruined. And he's seen me now. Let's, oh, I'm grabbing hold of the rock and not the gun. That's annoying. Short, sharp bursts with this SMG. It's not great in long distances. This might be a really good idea for me to get that sniper rifle. How can I get up to that bit? Can I climb the tree? It doesn't look like I can climb all the tree, just bits of it. So you've got kind of like almost Far Cry style climbing puzzles in a way. Right, he's not seeing me, so let's get some weak points. Oh no. Okay, he's dead. Hitting those weak points on these lower tier enemies is a surefire way to sort them out quickly. So I would definitely suggest unlocking the upgrade for weak points. Yes, sucker. Let's see if I can't jump to here, grab. Oh. Climb this way. Nice. Good bit of swing. It makes me feel a bit like I'm Spider-Man. Okay, we've got one up there. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Send me. Let's go SMG for this. Your turn. Mr. Fucking Spotter. Ah! Okay, I could. If he doesn't see me. Oh, he see me. No, he knows I'm out. Wishful thinking. I was going to hide in the tall grass, but it doesn't matter. Made short work of that, dickhead. Trying to be decommissioned, my ass. Oh, fuck, there's loads everywhere. Died. There's drones up there. This is a good one shot. Sniper rifle, though. Very powerful, this sniper rifle. One for you. Directly above me. One for you. I think this is out of ammo now, though. Okay. Let's keep climbing. My health is so low. My wizard off. <laughs> this is not looking good. That purple thing, I think, is my goal. Okay. That green one might be able to see me, actually. Oh, it's shooting. It hasn't got a line of sight, though. Good, that's one down. Stay behind here. Give myself some iron sights. Oh no. Come on, grab hold it. You stand too close to walls and then try and grab your guns. You normally grab the walls instead of the guns. This can get a bit confusing. Come on, you fucker. There we go. Climb, climb, climb. Maybe one of these is a health pack on them. Ooh. Nearly fell down that. Nearly fell right down that shaft. 
Okay, we've got some more drones up here. And another turret. Good. Okay, turret is down. That's the reactor. I can't imagine what it feels like for the cell imprisoned in there. Please get it out. Well, I made it to the top, but it turns out I don't have the key to open this. So um, I need to go and find the key to open this. But uh, that is something for me to do off camera because I believe I've given you a good idea of how this game plays now. Stormland uh, is a very, very cool uh, VR game. But yeah, it feels a bit like a sci-fi Far Cry. You get some amazing traversal in this game, which makes you feel like you're flying around, like you're a bit of a robotic superhero. Ah! <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, I've been... Ah! <laughs> Having a very good time with it. I think I'm probably going to die though. Come on! Why can't the waypoints be here? I'm stuck between... A, I'm basically stuck between the wall and the force field. There we go. Ah, dead. There we go. I did have died. I'm respawned at quite a close checkpoint. But yeah, um, this is a really cool game. If you've been looking for a VR game with a little bit more depth, a little bit more uh, freedom, that doesn't just follow a linear story-driven path, um, and that changes every week, then this is definitely one you should check out for the Oculus Rift, because, um, yeah, it's just movement is pretty much effortless. Combat's good fun. Exploration is really fun. Um, scanning things and finding hidden ob objects always gives you something to do. So yeah, it's just a very cool VR game that ticks pretty much most of the boxes that people who've been asking for AAA VR games once, really. Looks great. Plays great. Few few issues with uh, little bugs and motion control wibbles, wobbles here and there, but yeah, in general... Um, oh fuck, oh no. I'm very, very, uh, very happy with this game and I'm looking forward to playing more. So thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner. If you did enjoy it, do give it a like, do subscribe, because I do VR videos every Sunday. And check out the playlist, what's on screen now, to see even more VR coverage from me on Eurogamer. Goodbye! Let's just jump all the way down. Oh. Sploosh. Hurt my knees.